Hi guys, welcome back to an exciting video. I'm gonna run through my entire handbag collection. That's right, every single handbag that I own will be in this video. Um, look, this video is made in a bit of a rush because you guys know I have my sale and I did do that so I need to film this before all the bags go out. Um, excuse the shelves in the background, I've taken all the bags off the shelf so that when we go through each uh, brand I can put them back on the shelf so you'll be able to see cords and stuff like that which I normally hide with bags. So let's get right in to the very first brand. Now I'm not doing these in any particular order um, and I'm going to try and group the styles together but that may not happen. So. Please excuse, there are a lot of bags on the floor. I will um, put a picture that I took for my stories for these bags. It's just nuts, absolutely nuts. The very first brand I'm gonna talk about today is Chanel because it's probably one of the most popular brands, if not the most popular brand. First bag we got up is the mini flat bag with top handle. I absolutely love these styles because I find them really versatile and I also find the size to be really great. It is a small bag, but it's not a super tiny bag. You can still fit your phone, you can still fit makeup, you can still fit things that you would normally carry from day to day. So this could definitely be an everyday bag for someone. I always tuck the strap in whenever it's on the shelf so that it's out of the way. I find that if I don't do that and I'm pulling bags down, it can pull a whole row of bags down. So that's why I always tuck the strap in. So this is in the silver um, with the caviar leather, which I love. Um, really durable leather, guys. This, if you guys are worried about scratches and things, this will definitely um, last you a lifetime. I have had so many of the caviar leather um, versions in Chanel and guys, you can't see any wear and tear on those bags. I mean, I, I probably don't use it as much as a normal person would use it every single day. However, I have had some for years and they don't even look a day old. So, absolutely love this leather. The next bag is another mini flat bag with top handle from Chanel. This one is in the green uh, lambskin and it's got this beautiful pearl finish, which is absolutely stunning. Um, it's sort of like a bluey pearl finish. Against the green, it just gives a really unique color. Um, and I have to say, I haven't used this one very much just because I just don't seem to pick up green bags. Um, I find that when I'm wearing a green outfit, I want to kind of tone it down with something else. And this color is not like a perfect Kelly green. It's a little bit bluer. So a little bit harder to match, but I still have loved it in my collection. I think it's a really good quality bag. I actually love this bag so much that I've actually ordered this in a white. So stay tuned. That won't be in this video because it didn't make the video, but um, I will have that on my channel soon. Speaking of white Chanel bags, I do have this little flat bag, no top handle. This is actually a smaller size. I think this is the mini, not quite sure. Um, this is a really small size white bag. This is the one with the pearl strap, with the pearl detailing, which is gorgeous. I don't know if I would ever get rid of this bag just because it's such a classic and it just looks beautiful with anything. Um, and the pearl strap just adds that bit of luxury. This one has the flat pocket in the back. I really don't use this flat pocket. It's really great for like a card, a credit card or a business card or something like that. I just tend not to use it. Um, but absolutely love this. I do take this one traveling quite a bit because it's small, because it's a great evening bag as well, particularly in summertime. But to me, white bags are all year round, I feel. The next bag we are gonna do is a really fun one. And this is the multicolor flat bag. This is in the satin material, so not in the leather. You guys know I love leather bags, but occasionally I will buy something outside of this so that I can have a little bit of variety. This bag was so much fun. Absolutely loved it. Really loved the um, navy interior as well. It has navy interior and navy leather on the strap, which is gorgeous. Really, really fun bag. I do find it a little bit hard to style. I think it's because of all the color that I really think the best outfit for this is an all black outfit. 
but that is just me. So I do love this one. This is in the normal size of the classic flap, which is I think the 26 centimeter. Um, that brings me on to my next bag, which is the black flap bag. This one I keep with the flap underneath because it is the lambskin. So I keep the protective flap inside as well. This one is gorgeous, a real classic. I'm a believer that every woman needs one of these in their handbag collection. I just find it to be a staple, an iconic bag, even if you don't wear it. Now, I will be moving this one on because I don't wear it, but I have enjoyed it in my collection for the past couple of years. Um, I just know my style and I know that the classic flap is not for me. I need to have a top handle with my bags because I'm carting them for short distances a lot of the time. So normally I'm going from my office to the car, to the house, to the car, um, popping into the shops, like very quick kind of trips. And I find that having a long shoulder strap or a crossbody just doesn't work for me. I really like a top handle where I can just grab it and go. So there you go. This one is pretty much brand new. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the double flap. It's got the burgundy lining on the inside. Really, really beautiful. Beautiful bag. And I think you kind of can't go wrong with a black classic flap. It is such a, an iconic piece, as mentioned before. Um, but yeah, you guys got to do what's best for you. I know that I don't use this style, which is why I'm moving this one on. But I did hesitate. This is probably the, my most hesitant bag that I've been, um, that I haven't wanted to sell, even though I don't use it, because I know it's such a staple. But anyway, I decided that I have a lot of black bags and I just didn't need this one as well. Um, another part of me always feels bad when I'm holding onto a bag when someone else could probably enjoy it a lot more and get more love out of it than what I would. And when I think about that, I go, you know what? I should sell it so someone else can enjoy this bag more than me. The next bag is another classic flap and this is the gorgeous pink rainbow classic flap. This bag really took my breath away when I first got it. Um, the rainbow hardware is so beautiful. It is just stunning. Really, really complements this bag to a T. The color of the pink really highlights. Um, this one is in the lambskin as well. Beautiful quality, not a mark on it. I'll have to be honest, I think I've worn it once. Um, just because it doesn't have the top handle as mentioned. I love the yellow lining. I still have the zipper protector on there. That shows you how much I don't use it. I do tuck the strap in so that it is protected and out of the way but it's got the beautiful internal yellow lining as well. There you go. Now I did have a yellow one of these, but I've since moved that on. So I don't have that for this video, but um, the yellow with the rainbow hardware was also really beautiful. It didn't look as the rainbow hardware, even though it's exactly the same, didn't really bring out the pink tones. It brought out more the green blue tones in the yellow one, which was really interesting. Whereas because this one's pink, it kind of brings out more of the pinky, blue pinky tones. So interesting um, little bag. I If this came with a top handle, I would most possibly purchase this again in the rainbow. Absolutely love the rainbow finish. I think it is stunning. Um, so yes, it may not be the last rainbow bag that I purchase. The next bag is probably one of the most special bags in my collection. And it's the Chanel boy bag with the top handle. I thought this bag was gonna answer all my prayers. And I thought that because I really love the boy bag style, but I found it a lot boxy and I really wanted the top handle. And when I saw this in the top handle, I was like, yes, this is it. I started using this and I realized it's still a really boxy bag. And also the finish of this one is quite exotic and extremely delicate. And for me, it just made me not want to use it because I didn't want to destroy it. I just loved the finish of this so much. I thought it was super delicate. 
um, and really luxurious. This is probably the most luxurious bag, the most luxurious looking bag that I own. Um, in my opinion, to me, this bag just screams money. You know, you own yachts. So yes, uh, so that's why I don't use it. You can sort of see, I don't know if you can see how delicate the skin is. Um, I believe it's a python skin. Um, the handle is not as delicate and it's got a beautiful chain at the top. Um, I will show you the inside. Just simple black internals. Really beautiful, beautiful condition, beautiful bag really. Um, you know, I tuck the strap in, but that's the strap there. Um, and I sort of put it on as decoration a little bit. But there you go, Chanel boy bag with top handle. Next bag I have is the Business Affinity. Man, did this bag get some hype when it came out. It was really hyped in a good way. Um, I think this bag is really versatile. For the fact that it's a small bag, it opens really wide and it's really easy access easily accessible is what I'm trying to say. So when you open it, you can kind of like expand. I've got the straps tucked in here, but you can expand it super wide. See on the sides? A lot of the times like the classic flaps, they're just like they can't open. This one has even press studs on the sides as well. So you can kind of press them in if you wanted to. This bag, guys, is super user-friendly. There's a pocket in the front. There's a massive pocket in the back. Um, for a small bag, it is a really big pocket. Inside, there's also a slip pocket and there's also a zipper pocket. So there are four massive pockets in such a small bag. Really, really great for those people that like to organize, separate their items, etc. I would definitely get this bag again in a different color. Um, I found that this army green color didn't get worn as much as I probably would have thought. I do wear quite a bit of army green coloring. However, I don't usually match a bag to it. I usually wear black or beige or cream or something like that. Or even a camel colored bag is usually great um, with army green. So yes, but I would definitely recommend this style. Okay, the next bag is an old favorite and it is the vanity case, the Chanel vanity case. This one is in the larger size. I got this in a gorgeous mint green color. I was absolutely obsessed with this color when I saw it. Everyone had the nude color with the black and I was originally gonna get that one and I thought, you know what, I wanna be different. I want a bag that I would love and is a little bit unique to me. So when I saw this, I thought, yes, this is what I want. Um, this one has a gorgeous, like, Chanel lock on it. Right there, and beautiful zipper closure. This one also has a strap, which I tuck in. You can sort of see. Um, really wide opening. I do find the boxier styles a little bit harder for me to wear crossbody, just because I'm a larger girl, and I find that it does stick out a little bit. Um, so, yes. But... All in all, this is a gorgeous bag. It's in the caviar leather from Chanel. You guys know this caviar leather is so durable. Like I have worn this quite a lot and there isn't a mark on it. There is not one scratch, not even in the smooth leather section. No wear and tear at all. I mean, I just don't know how it's possible, but it looks absolutely pristine. So absolutely love this color. Next bag we have in Chanel is the iconic pearl bag. This bag was everywhere a few years ago and you know what? I do not regret one bit getting this bag because it is stunning guys. It is still stunning to this day. The pearls are absolutely beautiful. They're all attached. There is no issue whatsoever. Quality is exceptional. I mean, this is not an everyday bag for me. I wear this on a special occasion, going out to dinner, etc. I even stuff it to keep its shape um, because I've seen some of these online where you guys know what I'm talking about. Some influencers, some people online have this bag so squashed and I can't do that. I just can't do that. I can't just treat it like a piece of crap. Um, so I always like to look after my bags and hold their shape and I have to say this one looks absolutely perfect exactly like the day that I bought it 
no issue at all with the shape um, still looking gorgeous next bag we have is a recent purchase and it is the Chanel wok the Chanel wallet and chain this one is in the caviar leather and I tell you what guys I didn't realize how much I needed this bag in my collection this bag is so um, wearable because it's small it's black you can hold it as a clutch you can wear it crossbody it is just a win um, the only thing about it is I wish the strap actually came off and it doesn't but the strap is super weighty and beautiful the inside is just simple gorgeous there's card holder area zipper pockets slip pockets there are a lot of pockets for the fact that this is a really small bag um, so that is definitely a plus uh, and quality is amazing also a little pocket here as well but this is the perfect dinner date bag um, and would definitely recommend remember guys that if you want to find out more about my bags um, any of the bags you see in this video you need to subscribe to my magazine I'll put a link on screen you guys can subscribe and find out any information you want I have links and discount codes and the works in there it's a Chanel 19 section stay tuned guys I didn't realize how many 19s I actually have the first one I'm going to start with is the classic one and that is the Chanel 19 in the size 26 which is the small this size is beautiful it's perfect it's a great everyday size I do love me the large because I do like to carry a little bit more most days however this size is a winner for most people I believe it just looks really great on the body as well whereas the large can look a little bit large on the body depending on your size and your height I am a bit of a shorty as well so um, I know that the large looks a bit too large on my frame however I put up with it because I just need the extra space this one is absolutely gorgeous it has had a few little scratches here and there but you know what it still looks amazing it still looks like it's been buffed out you can tell here that it's still soft but it's not super squishy and flat because I like to put inserts in my 19s that's right I always have an insert in the 19 because it is such a soft and moldable bag that it's really easily flattened if you don't have an insert in it some people like that look I know a lot of girls that have their bags really flat However, that's not me, that's not my jam. I like it to still have a little bit of structure and shape. So, I tuck my strap in when it's sitting on the shelf, so don't mind me. Um, I'm trying to get through all of these bags very quickly, so I'm not gonna pull out every single strap, but they're all in there. You can see the insert. I actually got a red suede um, material. I think it's like a micro suede. Uh, absolutely beautiful really beautiful to touch absolutely love that insert um, there are a lot of insert companies out there and I do recommend a few in my magazine um, however I'm still looking for the one that has everything the one insert company that has all the brands that has all the colors that is fast at making them and shipping them out so usually if they have all the colors they should take like three months to arrive and that is painful particularly when you've already got the bag in and you really need an insert next one is my gorgeous white pearl 19 this one is special guys I use this one when I'm going away on holiday or if I'm out to dinner it's got this beautiful pearl essence iridescent sheen to the bag I don't know if you can see that in the shadows but it looks absolutely gorgeous so really really beautiful leather beautiful big slip pocket like all of them this one's in the small size just like the black um, this one I actually don't have an insert for so whenever I use it I have to pull one out of another bag to put it in here um, and that's the beauty of having multiple bags that are the same is that I can swap and change the inserts however I do like to have an insert for each bag so that when it sits on the shelf it has the insert in it this one um, I still need to find the right insert I don't know which one I'm thinking like a mint green or like a, a sea foam green would be beautiful 
with this color. I think it'll also really highlight the sheen in the iridescent. The very next bag is another special one, and this is the 19 in the large size. Um, this is in the sequent finish. Now, I was eyeing out this finish for such a long time, for years, and I hesitated buying it because I thought, oh, how am I going to dress a sequent bag? You know what, girlfriend? You can dress it up so many different ways, and the best way to wear sequins is casually. Jeans, t-shirt, something really basic, track pant on the weekend. Like seriously, it's a go-to bag. It doesn't go with what I'm wearing today. However, every time I pull this bag out, people go, wow, that bag is gorgeous. It just gives a real wow effect. Stunning wow effect. And I absolutely love it. Um, I also would probably like to get this in a smaller size, not this color, maybe the yellow version. Absolutely love the yellow version. There's also like a peachy pink version. That one is also beautiful. There's also a green version, which I love too. Um, this one is in like the lilac blue color, which is stunning. I absolutely love that it's a little bit of a pastel kind of color. Um, I think that's really, really sweet and beautiful. But yes, absolutely love this. I do have to be careful what I'm wearing when I wear this bag because this bag can scratch. It can be a little bit scratchy. There is no issues with the sequins coming off because they're all sewn into the fabric. So each individual sequin is sewn in. So no issues with that. Um, but if you're wearing something super delicate, like say a really light cashmere delicate top or sweater, I would probably not wear this with that because I think it might grip on. So be super careful. Next 19 is my large. This is in the camel color, the original camel color. I, you guys know I have the new caramel color as well, which I'll show you next. I was going to get rid of this bag when I got the new caramel color in and I thought I can't have two. They're so similar. Ah. I grabbed this one so much more. Why? I do not know. I think the tone of the color, the fact that it's got a yellow base, really goes with a lot of my camel outfits. Um, and, and the caramel color is just a little bit more orange and warm, whereas this one is a bit more yellowy. So I just find that I absolutely love this color. I just think it's really versatile. And I thought, why am I gonna get rid of this if I love it so, so much? So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer until I figure out what I'm gonna do um, and then move it on when I'm ready. So this one's in the larger size as mentioned. Um, beautiful long pocket. This is not my most used 19, but close to one of my most used. I probably use this more than I use the black one and that's saying something because it's black, um, but I do use this one more. The one I use the most is the pink one, which I'll show you guys last um, in this little collection. Um, but yes, absolutely love it. I do love the feeling of these bags. They just, they're so tactile. If you guys are real tactile people, you like feeling things and holding things, this bag could be for you. Now, as mentioned, the next one is the new caramel color. This is more of a tan colored bag. So on the tan brown side, of colorings. Um, this one's in the large size. I do love this bag. The quality is excellent. Um, and I do love the color. I really do. I think tan goes with a hell of a lot. However, I just find that I grab that other one a lot more. Um, I don't believe they sell that one anymore, that color. So I think this is the, the newer one or there's like a cream. Um, and I think the cream would probably do the sim similar job to that one. But I absolutely love this style. That's why I have so many of them um, because I just think they're really great, modern, uh, but yet classic bags because they're from Chanel. You can see on the shelf that one of them's taller than the other. And that's mainly because the new camera one is filled. Uh, so that's sitting a little bit taller. It's actually stuffed. And the camel colored one is older. So it's sloop, sloping down, sloping down um, because of the weight. 
uh, of the bag and because of the time that it's been around and been on the shelf. So those two factors, I think if I stuff this one to the brim, it would pop up as well, but I haven't, so that's why it looks like that. And the last of my 19s is this neon pink one. That's right, this is my most worn 19. I still cannot believe that to this day. This was in one of my most worn bag videos. I use this bag so much, who would have thought this color would make such an appearance? in my day-to-day -day wardrobe. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm actually using it at the moment, which is why it is full to the brim. I went shopping yesterday, got some extra mints, headache tablets. I took this bag traveling, um, came back from traveling yesterday. So it is full to the absolute brim. Um, I also have an insert for it as well, but it is also full. You can sort of see there how it looks when it's full. This is in the large size. Love me the large size because you can just fit extra. I don't like filling it to the brim like this too much. This is rare. I usually like wearing what normally fits in the small size, but I like the ability to be able to put like a drink bottle if I want to, whereas in the small, you just can't do that. Um, if you, you know, carry around a normal amount of stuff. If you carry super light, you might be able to. So, this one has a tiny little bit of wear on the corners, but not much. Um, nothing that I couldn't really wipe off. Um, yes, absolutely love this bag. This is one of my all-time favorites. Every time it's close to me, I just give it a little warm bear hug. It's my baby. I did tell you guys that I had an issue with the strap coming off and instead of getting it fixed, I just tied it to the strap. And it hasn't come out since, which is great. Um, but yes, love, 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 love. The next bag is one of the most popular bags in my collection and you'll see why. It is the Trendy CC in the black color. This bag says classy, vintage, modern luxury this bag has it all um, quality is exceptional i love me the larger quilts i think it just adds a nice little modern touch to a vintage classic bag um, it's got the gold plate absolutely gorgeous this one all of the Ch chanel trendies have the three accordion pockets this one has the burgundy lining um, i have been told that now the newer versions of this do not have the CC here and they do not have the zipper pocket at the back. They have it in the middle, probably because it's a little bit harder to get to at the back, which makes sense. Um, but yes, I also know that they have different uh, toggles for the strap. These straps are the little detachable sticks that you can slot through and detach. Um, however, the newer ones uh, are discs that cannot be detached. I like the option of detaching it. How often do I detach it? Not very often, but I like the option that I can detach it. And with the new ones, there is no option. So, I actually think they made a mistake there, personally. Um, so there you go, Chanel Trendy number one. The next Trendy I have was my very first Trendy, and it was this nude trendy. Um, I still have my little scarf on there, but you can sort of see this one is one of my most used bags or was one of my most used bags. I don't use it much anymore because I have a lot of other bags. However, this one has got quite a bit of wear on the corners and quite a bit of wear rubbing along the back here. Um, so it has been lovingly worn and I kind of secretly love it that it's got some wear and tear on it. Um, I just, it just shows how much I've loved it and used it. All right, next bag, trendy in the cream color. This is in the larger quilts. I recently got this one in because I know that I love this color, this color will wear so well in my wardrobe. I wear so much neutral, light, beigey tones like this, that this would really work. To give you a comparison with the last color, this is the nude, which looks kind of tan on screen, but it really is nude. 
And then this is the cream beige. They are quite different, um, but also the same. I was actually looking for a little bit of a replacement for this one because I know this one's not gonna last forever because it is so worn. Um, so I'm hoping that this one's gonna be it, but we'll see. The last of my trendies is this gorgeous pearl trendy. This one is quite special. I use this whenever I'm going somewhere fancy or if I'm going to an event or even if it's just the weekend and it goes with my outfit, um, I would definitely try and use this wherever possible. The iridescent sheen just adds that little bit of something special, um, which I really, really like. This one is pretty beautiful. The leather is really, really nice. And I even said when I got the pearlescent 19 that I would get rid of this one. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't like bring myself to get rid of this because I thought there's going to be a moment in the future where I'll be like, I wish I had that bag because it really goes with this outfit. And I thought to myself, I don't want to be in that position. So <laughs> I'm holding on to it, but you never know. In a couple of months, I might go, you know what? I'm definitely not using it. The test will come the next time I have an outfit where I grab this and go, oh, I should wear this. And then I end up choosing something else. If that happens, this one's definitely going. My last few Chanel bags. The next one is the 22. This one is in the yellow color because you guys know yellow is my favorite color. Um, so this one, I have to say, this just doesn't want to stay bunched. I have spoken to other people about this. They have the same problem. Why did they make this bag like this? Need to be bunched, but it doesn't bunch. So. Um, anyway, this size is way more practical than the really large size that I also have, which I'll show you guys next. Um, however, it does not have a top handle and I must say that I do like me a top handle. So this is like a big bucket closure, like a tote bag. And I usually find that bags like this are really good for overnight, um, like a tote style, but these wouldn't be good for overnight because the chain is too small to have something super heavy. So I just feel like it's a bit of a, maybe I need to try it in a really small size. I don't know. Okay, the next 22 is this one. This is the second one that I have. This is in the extra large size. It is super big and bougie, really great for the beach. Have not tried it at the beach yet. No, I haven't. Um, I also like the fact that the straps are really low hanging. So I find that you can actually do this and wear it like a backpack. Um, which is really convenient if you think about it, if you're going to the markets or whatever. This one, the leather is beautiful. Um, same with the yellow, they're exactly the same. Um, and the internals, you know, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I just find that the big bucket construction is not super practical um, for me anyway, but let me know guys if any of you guys have the 22 and if you use it and what you actually use it for because i'd be interested to hear like the size you've got if you use the really big sizes what you use it for etc second last bag from chanel and this one is the deville tote you guys know i've spoken about this before this one was in my last handbag collection video it is amazing these Deville Toads are so versatile. They've got the top handles, they've got the straps, they're big, they've got lots of compartments. I even bought an insert for mine with even more compartments. So whenever I go traveling, I take this to put my work stuff in, laptop, mouse, any sort of bits and pieces, cords, wires, chargers, all that stuff goes in here. And it's just an amazing bag. I would definitely recommend this bag for anyone that wants a tote bag that's a little bit bougie. Yep, love it. And I actually love this colorway because it's so neutral that it just goes with everything. It can be dressed up or down. Now the last Chanel bag I have to show you guys is one that is also a tote and I do use it every day. And I recently used it um, for a trip and it is still full because I haven't unpacked it. And it's got all my work stuff in it, laptops, cords, etc. Um, just like the other DeVille tote, this one is exceptional as well. It's a little bit heavier because of the leather, 
but I find it to be such a practical bag um, and really durable as well. I like the fact that I can actually use this as a work bag because it is that bougie. Um, and I use it quite a bit, like the corners are getting scuffed. But you know what? That's what these bags are for. So I do not regret it one bit. Okay, the next brand we're going to talk about is Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. And the reason is because I have quite a few bags from Louis Vuitton. Um, but I don't have many of the monogram. So the first monogram canvas I want to show you guys is the Mini Palm Springs backpack. Absolutely love this. I don't think I'll ever take this out of my collection. It is such a versatile, simple, easy bag to use. Um, I love using it crossbody as mentioned before. I think that this crossbody has this element of being super chic um, without it being a backpack. You guys may know I'm not a backpack wearer. I don't find that it suits me. I don't suit casual outfits. I do have the straps as well. One strap in here and I think there's another one hanging up on the wall. The next bag I have is the Ivy bag from Louis Vuitton. This one is brand new. I barely use it and I'll tell you why guys. I'll tell you why I barely use it. This closure. Normally you'd think it'd be a metallic, not metallic, a magnetic closure. This one is the old school manual clip. I mean, come on Louis Vuitton, come on. Seriously, we have to faff around with this opening and closing like why no one would even do this So anyway, but the canvas is beautiful um, The leather is beautiful. It's a little bit patinaed as in it came patinaed I don't know if you know much about Louis Vuitton, but um, Most of the leather comes like this which I'll show this one next uh, in like a raw kind of finish see how this one's a little bit more tanned. It's already been coated or something um, so it's a different finish of the leather which is kind of nice because I find that I've had this bag for I think over a year and I can't sort of see any patina no darker bits nothing which is great so I think the durability of this finish is a lot nicer than the um, the raw one inside it's just a fabric internal all black the strap is inside as well um, yeah not really much to say but I think they did an epic fail on the closure of this because I think it could have been way, way better. The next bag is my little beauty case. Um, this bag is super gorgeous. Really, really cute. I don't use this as a beauty case because I find that it's too small when I travel. This is quite a small um, bag. Um, I also really like the lining. I find it's super easy to wipe down. So they did really think about that. I remember seeing beauty cases in the past where they used like a canvas lining and I was like, why would you even do that? There's makeup and shampoo and you know, all this crap in there. Um, and the last thing you want is some gross stain that you can't get out. This one is super simple and small. I still have not figured out what I'm going to put in this. I'm thinking maybe Twillies. Um, because I do have a whole bunch of Twillies now that I've got no home for so I think that might be a good little spot or I might just take it upstairs and put it on my vanity um, My vanity table and see what sort of goes in there from day to day. There are a lot of things. I actually have some um, Like palettes like eyeshadow palettes and contour palettes and bronzing palettes that sit on my countertop because I use them every day, but I hate the fact that they sit there like that. So I might actually put them in here. That might be a really good idea. And then I can sort of keep them off the counter and it look a bit tidy and then I can just flip the lid on and hide it. Genius. The next bag we have up is the Louis Vuitton Alma Neo. This bag is an absolute classic guys. And I can see why there's something about the way that this feels when you hold it. In your hands like this and also use the bag there's just the bouginess about it it's something that screams money and I can see why people love this bag um, I love the fact that the monogram canvas is not super um, prominent it is there but it's a very light embossing which is really nice and there is a beautiful gold hardware as well which is also really really nice on this bag so really great quality the inside is like an orange 
which is amazing. Um, and I do not get sick of this bag at all. The next bag is another Almaneo and it is in this taupe color. I think the color is called taupe. Um, it is a really beautiful neutral, guys. This bag, if you guys think the black is a little bit too harsh and you want something a little bit more neutral in between, this one is gorgeous. Um, the color is really nice. Cool tone, um, not too warm. The gold really highlights, screams money just like the other one does. This one has a dark red lining, which is super fun. I love how they change up the linings compared, um, depending on which color you get. But a really, really great bag. Definitely recommend the Alma Neo, even though I'm not into monograms. We have two more Alma BBs, but they're a little bit different. This one is the new yellow Alma BB in the puffy. This shape is a little bit different to the Alma Neo. It doesn't have the band down the bottom. So there is quite a difference. If you guys want to see a better comparison, you can always check out this video um, because I do a comparison with the Alma Neos in that. Um, this one is a little bit smaller. It's also a hell of a lot lighter. This bag is super light and there is fabric lining on the inside. Maybe that's a reason why it's light. Um, it's also a smaller bag capacity wise. So I think that's another reason why it's light. The shape is different to the Alma Neo. It's similar, but it's not the same. So keep that in mind. Make sure you know the differences. Make sure that you're comparing them so you get the exact one that you're wanting. But this one is a lot of fun. Um, there is the cargo strap with it as well. I don't use this bag very much, which is why I'm moving it on. Maybe it's the color. I do love yellow, as you guys know, but I tend to like really strong, vibrant colors. Anything too wishy-washy or too pastel usually doesn't work unless it's an exception, um, like the Sequent 19, for example. And the last Alma BB I have is this one. The Alma BB in the pink, the Epi leather. Uh, this bag is gorgeous. It is very durable. I have used this bag quite a bit and I tell you what guys, it doesn't look a day old. It does not look a day old. Um, there's not even any marks on the bottom, like none. This leather is durable. The inside is also a gorgeous like pink suede, which is stunning. There's a strap in there as well. Definitely recommend. This one is different to all my other ones because it has silver hardware. I will show you guys the silver hardware. I think the silver hardware with this shade of pink is absolutely gorgeous. There's something about this combination that's really beautiful. I have a similar combination in a Birkin um, in like a bubblegum pink with silver and I just think it's beautiful. Next bag in my Louis Vuitton collection is this Santage, Santange bag. <laughs> I still can't say it. So this one, you guys know the story with this bag. Um, look, it's a crossbody. The leather's beautiful. I don't wear it very much because it just doesn't crossbody very well. There is a bit of a um, design flaw in it where it doesn't sort of sit up. It tends to flip a lot and all your stuff tends to come out. So uh, for that reason, I do not wear it very much. But it's there, also doesn't have a pocket in the back. Fail, epic fail by Louis Vuitton. Next one is a classic, and that is the Brochette Matisse. This is my red one from the Louis Vuitton store in, this, in Sydney, in the city. Um, this one went all the way to Japan with me because it just went with all my outfits and I absolutely loved it. I don't wear it much anymore, I have to say, and that's mainly because I'm not normally into this monogram canvas. I will make an exception for like the Alma Neo or something like that, but generally, um, and even the Kusan bag, I'd make an exception, but this one, I just find they're very indented. You know, the logo is very indented. Um, and also the fact that it's red. I don't normally grab a lot of red bags anymore. And if I do, it's usually a Birkin or something like that. So this one doesn't get a lot of wear, but I still do love it. And I think it is a really um, usable bag, a really bag, easy bag to use and wear every day. I can see why it was so popular um, and still is popular because it is such a really great style. 
Next bag is my Louis Vuitton Cousson bag. This is in the larger size. Oh, what size is this? Is it MM? Is it PM? I can't quite remember. Um, it's the larger one, not the monster one, the one in between. Um, not the one that came in the black and the army green, but the... Anyway, you guys know, you guys can always check out this video as well because there are way more details in that. Um, but this is in the cream color. I loved the cream color. I thought it was great, really versatile. I have used this one a little bit. I even bought inserts for it. So I have little green to match the interior, moss green, um, little inserts. And I've got three, so they go in each pocket and I've got extra, um, basically extra pockets in each one. But seriously, I found that you didn't really need to have an insert for this bag because there's already three compartments. Um, it would have been nice to have one pocket in one compartment so you can put things like keys or you know something really small. But all in all, um, really great bag. I tend to not double zip it, which I find is probably a downfall. So there's a zip in here. I just find like doing one zip and then another zip is a little bit annoying. But um, I usually keep it open, but I do find that it struggles to sort of unzip because I do that. Um, also, there is a bit of a flaw in this design, as you guys know, when you lift the strap up. And I love how these straps look. This sort of doesn't sit right. And you've got to like push it through, which is super annoying. But you have to adjust it every time you pick up a handle. Sometimes I'm doing it multiple times a day if I'm in the car. Um, but yeah, so I don't wear this larger one as much now because I've got the smaller version and I find the smaller version way more visually beautiful, but also more practical. This one is a heavy bag and it's a big bag to cart around, but you can't actually fit that much stuff in it. I find that the, the side of the, um, the profile of the bag is actually quite small. It doesn't expand very much. So you can't fit large items. Like I can't fit a little makeup bag in here with everything else with my wallet and everything else it's just too big so i sort of have to opt out so the fact that it's such a large bag and can't fit large items is annoying moving on to the other cousin that i own which is the bb i'm pretty sure this is the bb size um cousin. this one is the size smaller and it is great i love this size the fact that it's a small bag but it can still fit small items you know can't fit tiny items like you can pretty much fit the same amount in this as you can in the large one I find which is crazy um, but it's true so I can't fit a big makeup pouch in here but you don't expect to because it's a small bag whereas on a larger bag you go yeah you know what I'd like to fit, fit a makeup pouch in here and you can't so it's sort of a bit impractical that larger size um, this size is beautiful I love this color as well um, the monogram is quite indented, but for this style, I make an exception just because, you know, it's such an interesting style. Uh, the cousson still has the floor with the little clip on the side. I love also that this one has a chunky strap. The other one that I have is not so chunky. I don't know why they made them different, but they just did. Um, so absolutely love that. I think the thick strap is everything on this. Also, I find... Um, that the strap is has it's not designed well you sort of see there it's low and when you lift it up sometimes it gets caught underneath and lifts the whole bag um, so I actually think it's a bit of a design flaw and I wish that they designed it so that it was a little bit shorter so that it didn't fall under the bag like it was like this or something or like this so that it wouldn't fall under the bag and lift it up that's just me personally. So, um, absolutely love this one. I actually want to get this maybe in another color. There's like a fuchsia color, similar color to my jumper that I have been looking at, but I'm also waiting for them to come out with some more colors and maybe, you know, get something fresh and new for the new season. All right, the next bag I have is the Louis Vuitton Twist One Handle Bag. This bag is really easy to use, really nice to use, beautiful quality, um, a lot of space, a lot of pockets, really enjoy it. 
I actually would like to try the really small size, the mini size. This is the small, I believe, and there's a mini version. Uh, I'd like to try the mini because I think this can be a little bit boxy. Great if you like carrying a bit of stuff, but on those days where you don't, because it is a little bit heavy as well, the hardware is a little bit heavy on this bag. Um, so I think getting a smaller size would be a real win, like the mini size. So I can't quite work out if I want the tan colored one or if I want a black one. Um, yeah, but super cute nonetheless. Do love this style. I really wish they put a pocket on the back though. I think it's silly that they didn't. This bag would really warrant a pocket on the back, but who, what do I know? All right, next bag is my new wave bag from Louis Vuitton. This is in the Rose Agate, Rose Agate color. Um, I call this a bit of a fuchsia color, like a hot pink fuchsia color. This with the gold is just gorgeous. It is super beautiful, really, really nice. Really nice bag. It's got a lot of compartments as well. Zipper pocket in the middle, slip pocket at the back, um, and also a section at the front. I mean, it's really great. And it's, got, it's also in this micro suede kind of fabric, which is really nice to touch as well. Uh, the only bad thing about this bag is that it doesn't have a top handle. I would use this one so much more if it had a top handle. Really think it needs a top handle. Okay, this next bag, I nearly totally forgot about it. But it is the New Wave Pochette, Multi Pochette, Pochette. I think it's the New Wave Pochette because there's only one. There is um, a coin pouch as well, which I use every day, which sits there. Um, but this bag is gorgeous, really simple black bag. What I love about this is that you can take this strap off and you can just wear it like an evening bag, like this without the strap. And it's just a win. It's a really simple, beautiful bag. Um, that works in every occasion. The leather is also really durable for the fact that it's a smooth leather. I have worn this so much and there is not a scratch on it. So I do feel like it is a really durable leather. The gold on this is also exceptional. The color of it is beautiful. Um, it just screams luxury. Internals is just one pocket internal, uh, all in black and a really great little bag. Next bag we have is the On The Go. On The Go. I think this is just called the Multicolor On The Go, which is strange because you would think that something like this would have a really interesting name, like Mermaid Dreams or something, but um, it doesn't. Uh, and it's a very, like it's just the On The Go tote in the smaller size. Um, it also has the strap with the little um, coin pouch. So that's really cool, but really simple. I'm definitely moving this one on because um, I just don't reach for this. As much as I love it, it's interesting to look at. It's just not a practical bag for me to grab because of the colorway. I don't reach for bags in this colorway. I just find them really hard to style with. The next group of bags are my Capuchin, um, collection bags. Now I did do a recent video on this. However, as soon as I did the video, I received another two Capucines. So that video is sort of a little bit out of date now. So feel free to watch this section if you prefer. I'm going to do this in size order. So the smallest Capucines I've got is this little mini Capucines in this beautiful orangey yellow color. This color is stunning. I love how strong this is. Um, I find with black and white, even neutrals, browns, camel tones, still goes really well. Um, I do love this size and I will be getting some more in this size because I think it is an absolute win. Maybe in a neutral color, I think it would work really well. The next one is my oldest Capucines and it's my very first one and it's this one in the Magnolia color. This is with the silver hardware. You can see how old and tired this bag is. It is really old and tired um, and it has seen better days, lovingly worn, um, but it still holds its shape super well. I've sort of moved away from these kind of more nude colors and 
go on to more brighter tones and if I was going to do a neutral it would be more of a brown neutral so I don't grab this one much anymore um, which is why I would move it on but yes still love this bag this is where I first fell in love with this style and still love it to this day the next capucines I want to show you guys is this neon capucines this is one of my favorites in my collection because it is so bright and so different from anything else that I have in my wardrobe um, I absolutely love the fact that it's also got a couple of different tones it's got this really light pale gray accents as well and then the inside is this gorgeous pop of pink I just think it's such an interesting combo and a beautiful bag and surprisingly this bag goes with quite a bit considering it's a neon I always find neon to be a little bit hard to wear but not in this case I just find a little pop of color just looks incredible I try not to match it with something else that's neon I don't really own neon clothes anyway so the fact that I don't this tends to go with quite a lot my next BB size so all the ones that you've seen recently are the BB size this one's also the BB size this one is the opal one in this beautiful lilac color it's like a purpley lilac color it's absolutely stunning um, it is a pastel it does give me old lady vibes a little bit but I kind of like it um, there's something about it that I think is so beautiful so I do love it a lot um, the feet internal is exactly the same colorway in the lilac purple and this is a fairly new bag for me so I'm still sort of using it and testing it out and styling with it okay now we're gonna get into the larger capucines and I think this is the PM size capucine so not the BB the one in the middle not the really big one um, I think that's the GM or the MM so I think it's called the PM um, it's a 31 centimeter and I have this in the black absolutely love this bag you guys know this is a work bag for me really versatile it is quite large so I find that this isn't a great everyday bag however I have used this size for every day in a different different color and I'll show you in a minute in a minute this one has the silver hardware black and silver super classic this also has the hot pink lining looks red on screen but it's actually a hot pink um, which is super fun this one has the python handle as well I have not had any issues with the python handle none of it peeling or tearing or anything like that I do find it to be quite durable even though it feels very delicate the next capucines is my white croc one this is in the PM size as well um, I do find that this larger size is great for those larger items you can see it's just all white on the inside um, it's got the silver hardware which makes it very very clean and really nice all-round white bag the next capucines is one I talk about quite a bit and it's my raffia capucines because it is such a great holiday bag weekend bag casual bag just looks stunning all year round um, really really beautiful it's got the tan accents tan bottom tan flap and tan handle um, with the gold hardware which is just stunning I absolutely love this bag the only downfall with this bag is that it is heavy it is a heavy bag the capucines in the larger sizes because of the hardware and the construction do get a little bit heavy so that's why I prefer to go with the BB size most of the time and the last capucines and my newest capucines is this pink and red one. Oh, she's so fun she's so so fun I absolutely love this bag such a fun purchase and I'm loving every minute of it I love the combination of the red and the pink you'd be surprised how much this actually goes with so many outfits not only red not only pink but other outfits as well um, this one has the silver hardware which I think 
makes it a very neutral um, complement to the pink and the red. I think if it was gold, it would have been probably a little bit too much. This is in the larger size and this is probably the only capucines that I use casually every day on a daily basis. Um, maybe because it's new, but also the color sort of lends to wearing it in a fun way. And I've been using this one quite a bit more than the other PM sizes. I find the other PM sizes too large. This one, even though it's the same size, the color kind of brings it down, makes it a little bit more fun. So it's definitely a little bit more wearable. Okay, excuse the footage may be looking a little bit different. This is a lot later on in the day. I had to go and do a few things and now I'm back because this video does take a really long time to film. All right, moving on to the next brand and that brand is Dior. First Dior bag I wanna show you guys is probably one of the most famous and it is the Lady Dior. This one in particular is not the most famous, as you guys know, the Lady Dior is. This one is a uh, limited edition embroidered. It's called the multi dye, multi tie dye um, bag. This one was um, a present to myself for my birthday last year or the year before. And yes, I absolutely love it. I don't wear it that much because the size is quite huge. I do find the medium size a little bit too big and it is quite heavy because it is so big. The next Lady Dior bag is the mini matte black Lady Dior. This bag is so popular um, and I can see why the Lady Dior is a beautiful bag. It is problematic. It doesn't balance properly on a shelf or on a table. So you really got to watch that. Um, it doesn't have a lot of balance. It's very tall and skinny. Um, however, it is a really nice bag to hold. Um, and it does do something to an outfit. So I can see the fascination. This one is in the matte black version. So the hardware is black. Be careful with this hardware guys, because it can scratch and look terrible. This is in the mini size. And I also have a couple of other mini Lady Dior's as well, which I'll show you guys next. The next mini Lady Dior is this one, which is my favorite mini, dealer, mini Lady Dior. That's a mouthful. Um, and that's because the color is so great. It's such a beautiful neutral bag. So I find this to be a real winner with a lot of outfits. Um, it is problematic to get in and out guys. You guys know this. I've got the strap inside um, and it's got the tiny feet. But really I've seen some people wear and wear these bags and they look flat as a tat. Like, they are so flat and horrible. Um, mine has held its shape because I've always had it on the shelf. And when I wear it, I don't kind of squash it under my arm or anything. So I do look after my Lady Dior's. Um, I used to have a hell of a lot more. I used to have a lot of the small and a lot of the medium. And I sort of moved them on because I just didn't wear them. I find them to be a really clunky bag to use. However, the mini, um, I think there is a useful element to the mini because you can wear it out to dinner or to brunch. It is a small handbag and it's elegant. Um, and this style kind of suits it being in a small, delicate size. Um, so that's why I like the mini. The next is one of my newest Lady Dior's and that is the mini Lady Dior in the white heart version. So this one has the heart design instead of the um, quilted uh, diamond design which I think is super cute also love the little pop of red accent just here there is something quite beautiful about it and the champagne hardware just really sets off the white tone in this bag it's a really nice white as well it's not too cool it's not too warm it's not too gray it's just right now the next Dior bag is not technically a Lady Dior but in my opinion, it is very close to a Lady Dior. And that is the Dior de Joy bag. This bag is so similar to a Lady Dior. I don't know why they don't call it a Lady Dior and make up some weird size. Um, I think that's probably closer. The only thing missing, apart from the, the square shape, is the feet at the bottom. Uh, this is a very long, skinny bag. 
so it does sort of tip over so you do have to watch that it's mainly a handheld bag it does have a shoulder strap this color is so wow isn't it guys like every time i look at it i just go wow the inside is also absolutely gorgeous it's this blue suede which is this shocking blue suede color um there are two straps as well there's a big fat chunky strap when i say fat i mean like you know and then there's also a smaller chain strap and the chain strap is like a shoulder strap which just goes around the shoulder so yes um i wouldn't say it's the most practical bag and if i was comparing this to say the small lady dior i would say the small lady dior is probably more practical than this but just so you guys know i couldn't pass up this color i thought it was absolutely gorgeous it did come in the mini as well but i just found that i have a few minis already and i wanted to try something new and a new shape and i thought i would give this shape a go the next dior bag is the hobo vibe bag this bag i look i think this bag would suit the right person that person is not me unfortunately i think this bag is way too sporty for me i knew it when i saw it and i tried tried to make it work i said maybe i can do it no no naomi you cannot do it so unfortunately um i am part, like moving this one on um but you know it's pretty much brand new i don't think i've even worn it once i find that i put it on my shoulder and i just go it doesn't work and i swap it out for another bag so it never gets to leave the house so the condition is absolutely amazing there is a strap as well um which is you know not super chunky which is nice they can also be removed from the inside as well so both the straps go into this hole and sort of like a t-bar on the other side so it can be removed and you can just have this strap or you can have no strap up to you i will say this guys the leather of this is stunning it is so beautiful it feels really beautiful really really nice bag okay the next dior bag is this montage 30 montage bag um, in this navy reverse print uh, you guys know the one if you haven't seen this video you can go and watch it on my channel you can just type in Dior bag if you don't know the name of a bag and it will pop up this one's really beautiful because of the embroidery you can see the detail in all the embroidery it has this beautiful large pocket at the back like so and the inside is just one big pocket i tuck the strap in just so that it sits better on the shelf and is easy to pick off the shelf the next to your bag is my gorgeous caro bag this is in the smaller size the fabric the quality of this bag is so exceptional i find this bag to be quite a standout in its quality um the leather just feels amazing. The branding is on point. The gold and the um, color of the gold is stunning. The strap is also a really beautiful strap. It's the CD strap, which is very cute. And then inside there is the strap and there is a leather um, internal slip pocket and a zip pocket at the back really nice easy bag to use i wish it had a top handle but no biggie you can also clip a strap on if you had a strap or a gold chain or something that you wanted to attach you could make a top handle if you wanted to next in the dior collection is my range of saddle bags i have three saddle bags the first one we're going to talk about is the black one um i have used this bag to death i think it is great uh, I love the styling of this bag, how it looks on the body. I also love it with feminine outfits, floral dresses, etc. Um, I have spoken about that before. This one is getting quite old and tattered and I probably need to replace it. Um, so yeah, but still, still love this bag. My most worn one is probably the nude. Um, absolutely love it. They're all in the large size guys because the smaller size, I can't even fit a phone in it. And I think if I can't fit a phone, it's absolutely useless. So um, this one gets a lot of wear. It also has this beautiful strap that I bought with it, uh, which is exceptional. 
and I absolutely love the way this kind of sits on the body. I wish that the trend didn't pass so quickly because I feel like this is going to come back around again. I think this bag is going to get another breath of life, basically. And then my newest saddle is this leopard print one. And I have to say that I don't use this as much as I thought I would. Um, I am a little bit disappointed um, in myself. And I think it's maybe it's the print, maybe it's the fact that it's not leather. There's a couple of components there that sort of don't tick the mark for me. So um, the internals, it's also a very, the inner is a raw lining and I don't like that. I like things to be lined properly, um, using beautiful leather, etc. So we'll see. Um, I have decided to move this one on. Uh, but we'll see if there's anyone that will take it. Second last bag in my Dior collection is this tiny micro Caro bag. Yes, it is a freaking tiny, tiny bag. Um, it is so small. Uh, I don't use it because it is so small. So yes i am trying to find another home for it but i have to say the leather is so beautiful it's really really nice absolutely exceptional the all the gold is really beautiful the back slip pocket is beautiful really really nice um so if you know anyone who's interested in a tiny tiny bag who doesn't carry a lot let me know and the last Dior bag in my Dior collection, you've probably guessed it, is the book tote. The book tote is still going strong for me. It is a beautiful piece. It looks really great um, in my collection, but also it's a practical bag if you didn't have to carry a lot because it's not a great bag if stuff is heavy because um, you can only put it in the crook of your arm. You can't put it on your shoulder and that can be problematic. So keep that in mind. But I love this one that I got. This houndstooth one I feel like is such a classic print. Um, I don't get sick of it at all. I've actually had a great idea of putting this as a magazine holder next to my reading nook upstairs in my bedroom. Because um, I'm planning to actually get um, some beautiful furniture in there that would really complement this and maybe even some other houndstooth. So I am going to earmark that for that because um, I think it'll get more use up there than here. All right, next up, I'm gonna throw in a couple of little smaller brands um, because I've got lots of little bags as well that we need to get through. Uh, and then we will finish off with Fendi and MS. So the next one is Yves Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent as their new branding represents. The first bag I have is this one, the Manhattan. This style is gorgeous, guys. Like. I have a real love of classic styles and this is definitely a classic style bag. Like the way it opens is really simple as well. These flaps come out and then you just open this top part. Um, I love the leather of this as well. It's been quite durable even though like I haven't used it that much but there is not a scratch on it. There's even still plastic on some of the metal pieces. The only bad thing about this particular colorway is this canvas area. I find this canvas area really problematic because it's a light cream color and I'm always worried I'm going to dirty it because it doesn't even have feet or anything like that. Like it just rolls really easily. Um, also transfer, you know, if you're holding it under your arm, there's a transfer issue. So I, I'm always really conscious. So I pretty much haven't done much with this bag um, so yeah it is pretty much in brand new condition I am wanting to move it on so we'll see if that happens um, but I I think that if this was in an all black with just leather or the all tan just leather I think this would be a real winner in anyone's collection I think it's classic no Larry logos really timeless looks elegant you'll feel like a million bucks I reckon Next bag is a really famous one, the Lulu. I get so many questions about this bag, guys, the Lulu, that I had to get this bag in. 
um, and I can see why people love it. It's really easy. It's kind of the equivalent to the Chanel 19. Um, I think it's a little bit more modern than the Chanel 19, the way the logo sort of is and the way the style of the bag is a little bit more with this, you know, triangle kind of flap is a little bit more modern. Um, the opening is beautiful. I have stuffed this one, which is what you can hear there. The branding is on point. This is with the silver hardware. There's also the strap, which I've tucked in. Um, no flat pocket at the back. This one's in a gorgeous vintage white color, which is sort of like an off-white gray color. Really, really pretty. Um, absolutely love this. I haven't used this that, that much because if I want a small white crossbody, I usually go for my Chanel Pearl one. That's the one that I sort of grab if I'm wanting something white. I never kind of think to myself, I want an off-white bag. I don't want a fully white bag. That's never usually a thought that I have. So I find that this color is a little bit tricky um, to wear because if you wanted a white bag, you probably have another white bag, which I do. I've got lots. So yes, um, but you know, I love the fact that it's super soft, really easy. I think if this was in a pop of color, it would be super cute, like a neon orange or something like that. I would so love it. Next up is probably it's one of my most popular bags on my channel. I get so many questions about it and it's the Saint Laurent Cassandra bag. This one in particular is the smooth leather in the black and I must say guys, this is an everyday, every season, every century bag. This bag is timeless. I can see this bag in the 50s. I can see this bag now. I can see it 20 years ago. It will never date. It is one of those pieces. The fact that it's a little bit structured as well, I think makes it even more timeless because it's not gonna wear over time. It's not gonna look tatty and old. It's just gonna pretty much look how it is. Look, I've been wearing this one quite a bit. Um, and I was at first worried about the scratches, but now I'm like, you know what? It'll scratch and it'll keep getting scratched and then it will become better and better and better. So. I'm fine with that journey. Um, I haven't really had any real major scratches on it though. I've been really, really careful. Uh, also, I've been able to put up with this problematic lock. So I've spoken about this before when I had the white one in the pebbled leather. Um, and I found that this was such a pain. On this one, because the bag is so beautiful and timeless and elegant, so wearable in the black, I just find that that's not a problem anymore. You know, it's sort of like when you start to have a list of problems with a certain bag or a certain item, just one thing is like the hay that breaks the camel's back, you know, and that's sort of what it was, I think, with the white colored one, the off-white. Whereas this one, there, there was no, no issues with this bag. So having a problematic turn key, turn lock is wasn't that much of an issue. Weird, right? Really weird. First time that's actually happened to me. Absolutely love this bag. It's got boss vibes as well, which is what I really, really like. But I also see people wearing like a tracksuit with this bag and it'll look amazing. So if you guys have been thinking about a black bag and you're not wanting something Chanel or, you know, something a bit vintage old school, try something like this. I think you would really love it. This and the Chanel Trendy CC in the black, both of them are very comparable. They're very similar in style and look and feel so okay i'm gonna do a quick little mention of this saint laurent bag because it is super cute and it's this tote the rive gouache tote i'm sorry i butchered that um i i'll be honest i haven't used this as much as i thought i would i thought i would really use this a lot and i just haven't and i think it's because there's not a lot of structure in the base it's a very floppy soft bag um, great for the markets and things, but I just found it to be like it sort of doesn't stay up. So really, really hard. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this, but we will see. The next brand we're going to talk about is Gucci. Gucci. Um, I, you guys know this. I used to be a lover of Gucci. It was my first step into designer brands and designer labels and I will never forget the moment when I was introduced to this brand. 
But over the years, I've just explored so many other brands and fallen in love with so many other brands that these have kind of fallen by the wayside. I also feel like Gucci has not stepped up to the plate and have not moved in the times the way that the other brands have moved in the times. Um, what I mean is, you know, nothing wrong with doing something vintage like this, but I'll show you some other bags um, that I have from Gucci and you'll sort of see, I just feel like the quality is not there. Second bag from Gucci is the Diana bag. Beautiful, cute bag, very relaxed, very casual, very holiday vibes. Um, to me, this bag just lacks elegance. It's just very casual, it's very light. There's not heaps of quality, the leather is okay. There is kind of like a weird shine to it. Um, like it's, it's fine, it's a pretty bag, but I just feel like they could have made this bamboo handle the bag that goes with the bamboo handle really elegant to kind of balance it out because bamboo handles are very casual, but they kind of didn't do that. They kind of went more of a casual aesthetic, um, which I think is a bit of a shame. Still a cute bag. Um, I am moving this one on because I don't wear it at all. So, and it does not have one scratch on it, not one. So it's pretty much in near new condition. Next one is my Marmont top handle bag. Don't you guys remember when this was out everywhere? I had the little flap as well in the black, which I've moved on. Um, this one is in the cream. I actually bought this uh, from Japan when we were coming back from Japan. Um, so it is a little bit sentimental. I am really cautious with this bag because the leather seems very delicate and it is a cream color. So I don't really wear it very often. There is a mark. There are like, there's a weird, there's like a weird mark on the side. Um, it's not rubbing against anything, but there is a weird mark that's sort of like a loop. I don't know. I feel like it's something inside the bag that's making it have that effect, but I don't know what that could be. I put a twilly to um, help with the handle, but really I don't wear it enough to warrant it. Gucci Marmont top handle. My last Gucci bag is the Gucci 1961 Jackie bag. Guys, when I saw this one online, I was like, oh my God, I love the color. The shape is gonna be super practical. I can't wait to wear it, get it in. And then when it came in, I just felt like the quality was crappy. I just felt like it was this sort of structured, weird bag that didn't, the leather sort of didn't have the right feel. Um, it was very smooth. And when I went in store, I had a look at it and they were all like that. And I just was like, why are they producing this? It looks plasticky. You know, it doesn't feel nice. It doesn't mold to you or move to you. It's just, I think a terrible, terrible bag. Um, really disappointing. Also, if I open it up, you can sort of see the leather, you know, the, not the leather, the lining is nice enough. Um, all the code and everything is in there. There is a strap, like I'm sure it would suit somebody. Um, unfortunately, it was not me. Okay, next brand we're going to talk about is Bottega Veneta. We've got the puzzle bag. I love this puzzle bag. I love the color scheme. I love the pop of neon. It really introduced me to neon and I absolutely love it. Um, the flap is also neon underneath. It is a very casual bag. It's not dressy at all, so it doesn't really fit in with my aesthetic. That's the only thing that's a downfall with this bag is that I feel like it just makes everything casual. So it's really hard to dress up. And then the other Bottega bag I have is the Jody. This one <clears throat> is a little bit squished. Um, and this is only a cheapie. I do want to get a good one in um, so I can see maybe in like a camel color or something like that or in a brown. Uh, I do like the top handle, but I don't like the fact that you can't cross body it. You can't put it across your body. So it's really just going out for dinner or something like that. The next bag we have is the 
one and only Versace bag that I own. Um, this bag I really liked when it first came out on the runway. They had it in multiple colors. They had different colored straps. This one has a white strap, but they had like all these other straps with it. That was super cool. Um, it was just a really cool it bag. And I was dying to get one in. I unfortunately got one that was way too big. I wished that I sized down. Uh, and got like the really small one. I think it would have been a lot better and I wish I got the black and the gold one Because I feel like that one is on a whole different level to all these other ones. It doesn't have the plastic chain It just looks so different. Also, I did lose a bit of a pin Inside one of the handles here. So the handle is actually not secure So I have had to stop using this bag until I can fix um, that little issue all right, the next bag is from Bulgari, and it is my one and only Bulgari bag, which is this one. I did add this pearl strap, so ignore that. I'll just put it to the back. Um, but this is the Serpenti bag. It's got the nude serpent head on it, which is really beautiful. It's got the Bulgari at the back here. Then when you open, it's got this nude lining, which is gorgeous. And it's got the snake strap as well. Absolutely beautiful, really beautiful evening bag. And it's just the perfect size. It's not too small, it's not too big. It's just perfect for evenings. First bag I have from Prada is this one here, which is the Clio. I think it's called the Clio. It's in the mirrored finish. It's super fun bag. It's not super practical, guys. It is really thin. It can barely fit anything. Um, and really it's for, for night outs and for young people. I even find that if I'm going out of an evening I wouldn't take this because it can only be kind of hooked on something um, It can't sit on a table or anything and Yeah, I just find that I just can't bring much when I take something like this Now the other Prada bag I own is this one here, which is the re-edition. This one is super fun I would say that this is actually more practical than the Clio because it kind of has a little bit more volume and you can kind of puff it out and shove stuff in. I've managed to fit so much in this little bag. Um, I also love the colorway of this. Like I don't see, I see the black one everywhere and the white one, but I don't see this one. Um, so I think this one is a little bit of a dark horse. This sort of nude back tone is really pretty. Uh, and <clears throat> I think it goes really well with the Diamantes as well and the inside um, With the Prada logo, I think is also gorgeous but There you go um, Are they all intact the rhinestones? No, one of them has fallen off on the back only one and I do remember when this happened because I was being extremely rough with the bag and then I was like, oh hang on It's missing a Diamante and I didn't realize so from that moment on, I was very careful. The next bag we're gonna talk about is my one Givenchy bag, which is the Antigona. I love this bag. I believe this is the small size um, or the medium. I know that there are many sizes in this, but this is quite small. Um, and this one has the chunky chain, which I think makes this bag. This is a really, um, good staple bag in anyone's collection. I find it a really go-to. It really puts an edge to an outfit that other bags don't really do. So if you're an edgy dresser, um, cool girl, rock star style dressing, this bag would work really well in your wardrobe. Now, my one Balenciaga bag is this one. And what a bag to have. This bag nearly goes everywhere with me. Anytime I travel or want to go out to dinner or anything like that, I grab this bag. I find it so cool. This bag is so beautiful. I also love this bag worn casually. If you can imagine a denim jacket and white jeans, really simple outfits, all black outfits. I mean, this bag just basically puts you on another level no matter what you're wearing. Um, but the contrast between wearing something really casual to something really sparkly, diamante, and over the top, there's just a really nice balance there, which I really, really love. Um, I recently took this to a trip to Sydney and I wore it quite a few times out to dinner 
um, and out and about and I loved it. The strap is really good. I do, I am really de delicate with this bag and I'm quite careful because of the diamantes. I don't want them to be falling off. So I am looking after it and making sure that I'm not rubbing it against things or rubbing it against my body, etc. Okay, the next brand we're going to talk about, the second last brand in my collection is Fendi. Now, the reason why I kept this second last is because I have been really falling in love with this brand because I find it so modern, so interesting, the quality to be really beautiful. They have a really great range of different style bags that just kind of not all the same style. Um, and so the first bag I want to show you guys is the Two Girls Baguette. I call it the Two Girls, I don't know the official name. But when you Google Two Girls Baguette, this is the bag that you find. Uh, so I love the baguette. I find it a really easy style to wear. My only qualm with it is that this strap is not long enough for a crossbody. It is, it fits me as a crossbody, but it is a very short, close crossbody. So if you are tall, this will not work as a crossbody for you. It's also a little bit wide as well. I feel like a different strap would be better. I do have a separate Fendi strap that I bought that I can use with this bag, which is a little bit longer. So that works, but it would have been nice to have it in this pattern. I love so many things about this, this bag and the baguette. I like the fact that this, this um, is it a coated canvas? Is it a leather? I'm in two minds. I feel like this part is the leather and this is a coated canvas. This reminds me a lot of the Louis Vuitton coated canvas, um, the monogram. So I'm gonna call it a monogram until someone proves me wrong. Um, well, the canvas, coated canvas. I think this is so durable, this fabric. You just wipe it down. You don't have to worry about scratches. It is a really great wearable bag that you can just throw around. Um, the inside has a cotton lining, I think it's like a cotton lining, um, in the Fendi. This section here, like, as mentioned, I feel like this is leather because it feels like leather here, but then this part feels differently. I could be completely wrong, this could be a textured leather, but I don't think so. Um, just the way that it's kind of constructed gives me the impression that it is not leather. On the strap here it doesn't bleed out into nothing it just folds over and then you know because with fabric they can't really shave it down it's not like leather where it's a solid piece and they can trim it down and there's no step so here there's a massive step because it is canvas I'm telling you um, so I love the fact that you can take the top handle off and the fact that it has a top handle and also the fact that it has a strap Obviously, I've got another strap as well to go crossbody. The size is great. This is a really good everyday size. You can fit makeup, you can fit your wallet, you can fit sunglasses, you can fit just about anything. Maybe not a water bottle, but just about anything. Um, so that's why I really, really like this bag. Okay, the next bag is one of my secret love bags. And it's the Fendi Peekaboo in this... What do you call this style? It's like the um, braided leather style. Now, one, the Peekaboo is a classic, but two, having this braided style and in this navy color, for me, it just has these old world vintage vibes to it. Um, I absolutely love this bag. I do not wear it as much as I would like for a couple of reasons. I think because it's navy, also, there's a lot of holes in it, um, so I can never really put anything small in there, and I'm always conscious about it. Um, but it is really cute and a beautiful style. I might be getting rid of this one next year if I'm finding that I'm still not grabbing it. Um, for now, though, it is still staying in my collection. The next bag is the Fendi Graffy. You guys know this bag well. It came in so many colours, so many patterns. I absolutely love this bag. I think it is super cool, but it is very impractical, which is why I've decided to move it on. Um, this plate down the bottom with the Fendi looks amazing. However, it bangs on everything and it does get really scratched even when you barely use it like me. Also, the suede leather is very delicate. I am super scared to take this out anywhere, 
particularly out to dinner because I don't want food or oil or sauce or anything like that splashing on the surface. I know that it would be absolutely impossible to get out, so I'm super, super careful. Um, and I really don't take it out because of that reason. Uh, so I have to be really careful when I choose to take this out and that I'm not going to be anywhere near food, which is crazy. But I do love the style. I think it's super cool. I think the color is amazing. I think in the suede, the actual look of the suede looks expensive. It looks like a luxurious bag. Um, the texture, the tactileness is great. Love, love, love this bag. I would probably like to try this in a leather version that I can maybe wear from day to day or a pop of color. The next bag is the first Fendi First that I received, which was this gorgeous dark brown in the large size. This color just stole my heart. I was like, wow, it's a neutral. I've never seen anything like it. I don't have any other bag in this color. This is a win for me. Um, and it would have been a win if it was in the smaller size. I find the large size way too big. Also, the strap that comes with it is a shoulder strap and it's not a crossbody strap. So I can't crossbody this bag. Um, so it's either handheld or nothing. And when this bag is full, it is heavy. So I ended up not wearing it very much, but absolutely love the color. Still do. Um, still wish that I got it in a small. I might even move this one on and get it in the small. Um, or maybe get it in like the snake version um, just to add a bit of texture to it. I think it's super beautiful. I also saw this style in like a fuchsia ostrich skin. No, a croc skin I think it was. Stunning! Oh my god, I was so in love with that bag. I tried to find it everywhere, could not find it. It was impossible, so I just gave up my search. Do love this bag. Um, but watch this space. Probably going to get it in a small. Okay, the next Fendi First is my small in the camel color, or is it the beige? I can't remember the, the name of the color, but I love this color. I think it is such a beautiful tone. It goes with so much. You can just be wearing all black and it still looks amazing, or you can match the tone and wear other colors like this. I just think it's such a win. Um, I also want to get the small Fendi First in a pop of color. Don't know if I said that before. Um, there are some that I like, but they've also come out with this gorgeous green and some other like bright orange colors. And I'm thinking, you know what? I could probably do that. I could probably do it. So watch this space. I have not finished my obsession with the Fendi First. And my last Fendi First is this gorgeous Fendance, Fendas Versace collab. Um, with Fendi, I love this bag. I think it is so unique, so interesting, um, a real talking piece, a bit of an artwork. I think the size is perfect, as you guys know. Internals are perfect. Um, yeah, I think this was, normally when people do collabs, they kind of miss the mark a little bit and they're not as good as their normal range, but I think this one is an exception. I do think this is just as good. I did forget one last little Fendi piece, and that is this tiny little bag charm that I bought on AliExpress or somewhere like that, and it is so cute. I actually hang it on the big, the brown, dark brown Fendi first, because I love the contrast between the big bag and the small bag. Um, it is super cute. This also doubles as a little tiny purse. So it's got two little clips here um, and you can actually hook up a strap. There is a chain strap as well, which can be worn. I'm gonna take it out of the bag because I don't think I've ever attached it. But it can be worn as a little baggie, which is super cute. Can't fit anything in there. I mean, you can fit coins, but that's about it. So there you go. Super cute, guys. Say if you were, I don't know, going somewhere and you needed just a $2 coin or maybe one key. 
um, a half lipstick, you know those little mini ones? You could possibly do that in here. If anyone wants to say what's in my bag for this bag, let me know. I'm happy to, I'm happy to see what I can fit in here. Do you know what? I think I could fit a mini perfume in here as well. Um, I don't know how I would pay for things because there would be no, you couldn't fit money. You could fit a little bit of money, but you couldn't fit a card. And that's a big problem because a card really pays for a lot of stuff. But maybe I can fit, no. The problem is the length as well. It's such a small opening that a card, even though it might fit down there, it's not gonna fit up here. Anyway, a little mini purse. Maybe I need to give it to one of my nieces. That would be cute. Though it's a very like low crossbody, so you'd have to like adjust it or tie it up or something. Super cute, right guys? Super cute. My last designer collection is Hermes. And I save Hermes for last because I have grown quite a collection over the years and I know it is a really popular brand for a lot of you. So the very first one I'm gonna start off is not gonna be anyone that you are gonna imagine. It's the her bag. Now, this bag is a dark horse. This one in particular has beautiful colorway. Um, it's got this fuchsia hot pink body with a real orangey red um, accents, some piping detail here, as well as here in the front and in this top section, in the handle and in the strap, which I've tucked in. You can see the strap goes at the back as well and also this slip pocket at the back. No feet or anything like that. There is piping detail down here. Um, this bag is gorgeous. I wish it came in a neutral. Well, it does come in a neutral. I wish I got it in a neutral. I don't regret this purchase at all. It was really a special bag. Um, but I know that if it was in a neutral, like a brown or a beige or something like that, I would get so much more wear out of this bag. Also, this bag tends to lean quite casual. So to me, it's probably always best to put something in a classy color when it leans casual so that you can wear it any which way. Whereas when it's in a bright color like this and it leans casual, you can really only wear it casually because something bright pink like this with red accents, I don't know. Um, I would find this hard to dress up. But absolutely love this. The quality of this is absolutely stunning. If you want to know more about this bag or any of the other bags, you need to go to my magazine, sign up. You can go in there, log in, have a look, blah, blah, blah. Okay, while we're talking about the her bag, I will also show you guys my other her bag. This is my larger one. This one was great because of the color, but it was really big. This is, a, I thought this would be a really perfect size for me. I do love big handbags, but I found it because it's quite structured, particularly down the bottom here. I found it just really too big. So I much prefer that other smaller size. Um, I think that's the 23 and I think this is the 28, 28 or 31. I think it's 28, um, which I thought would be perfect down here, but it's obviously wider up here. Um, so yes, if I was to do it again, I would get the smaller size. Really beautiful though. I do love the tan. The tan sort of goes with everything. And my reasoning at the time was that I could take this away on holidays. This colorway would work. Um, this size would work. I could maybe jig it up and make it into a backpack and it would be like my backpack. Never done that, but a girl can dream. Okay, the next style is the Kelly. This is in the 32. I do put poofs and things on them um, to jazz them up a little bit. I love this color, this beautiful orange, yellow, it's more of a yellow um, color. I find it super strong. This bag used to be a perfect size for me a couple years ago when I used to love bigger handbags. I now find this bag a little bit too big even though I still wear it. So if the color's right, I would still wear it, but I just wouldn't fill it up too much because it does, it can get heavy because it is a larger size bag. Um, I always use inserts with these. Uh, most of my MS bags have inserts because that's just how I roll. Um, yes, this one hasn't had too many outings recently because I just have way too many other bags. And I do have a small like orange, the Capucines, which I tend to, pick over this one 
if I'm sort of in this colorway. Um, but yeah, I do, I do love this color so much. It's probably my favorite yellow color out of all my bags. The next Kelly is another Kelly 32. I have put a Louis Vuitton charm on this, so just ignore that. Um, but this is in the dark burgundy color. I absolutely love this bag. It's got rose gold hardware. I'm not going to undo it because it's a bit of a faff, um, particularly with this keychain that I've got on here. But I, when I ordered this bag, it was so special. I ordered it with a pink lining um, and the rose gold hardware, and it was just stunning. So again, if you want to find out more about my bags, you need to subscribe to my magazine. Continuing on with the Kellys, we have the mini Kellys. I have four here that I'm going to show you guys. The first one is the black one. This one is gorgeous. I wear this one to death. It is so versatile. It goes with everything. It's a beautiful date night bag. It's um, understated, which is what I really like about it. There's no big Larry logos. It cross bodies nicely, but remember it is a small cross body. So you do have to be a small person or a short person to be able to cross body. It. You could cross body it um, if you're tall. I have seen some girls do it, but you kind of need to be petite um, because it's short. It's a short cross body. Do not regret this one little bit. I really originally wanted the silver hardware with the black, but you know what? The gold is everything. The gold is everything. It takes it up a level. It makes you feel super bougie um, and I love it. I don't think I will ever get rid of this bag. The next one I'm going to talk about is the one in the gold. This one has the contrast stitching. I don't wear this one as much as I thought I would. Quality is amazing. Um, the stitching is beautiful. The logos and everything is beautiful. I just find that I don't wear this color much anymore. I used to really love this color and I still do, but I just find that I'm reaching for other colors these days. Um, and if I want something neutral, I usually go with a black. So the next one is a dupe. You guys know um, this bag. I bought it cheaply. I need to get rid of it um, basically. Um, I don't pick this one up. I, I'm not happy with the quality. I didn't like the leather. I didn't like the piping. Um, the color I didn't even use. So I was actually ordering this bag. I ordered it to test the color out because I was wondering if I wanted this khaki color. It turns out I don't wear this color. Um, this color doesn't go with much. So I'm glad that I didn't take the plunge. But that's why you buy cheaper versions sometimes to test things out. And my last and my favorite Mini Kelly is this one in the magnolia color. This color is like a fuchsia. It is stunning. I have twillies on them to protect the handles, but it is just a beautiful bag. Um, it adds a pop of color to any outfit. I love the fact that it's got the silver hardware. It makes it really fresh and modern. Um, I find it's also quite youthful with the silver hardware. I find the gold hardware makes things a little bit older or appeal to an older audience um, whereas the silver is very young and fresh love 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 this bag i don't think i'll ever get rid of this one either i'm gonna jump to the one constance that i have in my collection at the moment and it's this one this is in the color malachite um, it is gorgeous this color instantly caught my attention and I wanted it. I was like, I don't have anything like that in my collection. It is so unusual. Um, when I was growing up, this was a popular color and it was actually my favorite color when I was a teenager. And it slowly changed over time when this color kind of faded out and it was really hard to get anything in this color. Um, but absolutely love it. This one is with the gold hardware. Uh, I actually took this to Sydney recently on my trip and I wore it for a day. Um, and I got so many compliments because everyone loved the color. Okay, the very last section of the MS collection is the Birkin collection. Now I have six Birkins that I'm going to show you guys, all in various sizes. I'm going to start with the largest one first. You guys probably know this one. This one has been in the back of my collection forever and a day. It's probably my oldest handbag. I use it as storage. I store whatever I want in it at the moment. There are sunglasses and stands and a couple of other things. Um, but I love the size. I used to use it when I traveled, but I don't anymore. 
just because I have other bags that are a little bit more practical, but you can't go wrong with a huge tan or gold um, Birkin. So this is in the size 40. Okay, the next bag is my Birkin 35 in the color gray with the gold hardware. This combination is gorgeous. However, this size was a bit too large for me. The 35 was just way too big because once you start filling it, it does get really heavy. So I have um, thought about moving this one on um, and giving it to a better home. Um, I also have an insert for this, so I've only ever used it with an insert. This bag is in fairly good nick considering uh, I haven't really used it because it was just a little bit too large for me. Okay, the next Birkin is my very first Birkin 30 and it was in this beautiful color, this beautiful red orange color. If you guys wanna know more about the color or anything about this bag, go to this video on my channel. Um, you'll be able to search for it and have a little look at all the details. This bag is gorgeous. It still looks brand new, exactly like the day that I bought it. Um, the leather is just stunning. Absolutely fell in love with this style and this bag the moment I got this one in. I still use this bag to this day um, and I don't grab a lot of red bags, but this one is definitely one that I do grab. Okay, the next Birkin is quite popular and it's the gold. Um, this one's actually technically not gold. It's a certain color um, that if you go back and look at this video, you get the exact color of it. Um, it's sort of like a really warm tan. Uh, this one's with the gold hardware. This leather is so soft, so beautiful and pliable. Um, it's just a dream to use. It has a mind of its own. It moves to you when you hold it. Um, you know, it's structured, but it's not too structured. And that's what I love about it. So yeah, I know that I will use this for the rest of time. Um, however, at the moment, the tan color is not getting a lot of use in my wardrobe. That's just me. I know that's a phase. Love everything about this one. I knew that when I started to fall in love with Birkins that I needed this combo in my life because I knew that it would just be timeless. Okay, the very last two bags in my collection. The first one is the Birkin 25. I have two Birkin 25s and I have fallen in love with this size, guys, because it is such a great size. It's small, but it's large enough to fit all your essentials every day. Um, it also is really practical. The handle is great. Yes, they don't have crossbodies. We know that, we're over that, okay. Um, so I don't wear this bag if I'm running errands, if I'm going shopping, anything like that, I take a different bag. But if I'm doing my normal day to day or I'm meeting someone for coffee or for lunch or if I've got an appointment, I would usually take something like this. Um, I love the fact that this one has the silver hardware. It just makes this color very, very different. I still have the stickers on, you could probably tell. Um, this one is the same leather, it's the Togo leather, and it is soft, but because of the size, it doesn't flop around as much. So the smaller you go, the tighter it's gonna be. The bigger the Birkin, the floppier it's gonna be over time. So, absolutely love this. I actually don't have an insert for this one, so I borrow from another one whenever I'm gonna use it. Um, I find that because they're so small, they don't, I don't feel like they, necessarily need it that much but they do need it a little bit and you will sort of notice um so the very last birkin i have is one of my favorite ones and this is in the mo Sylvester. this is in the epsom leather it's my only emes oh apart from the constants it's my only birkin definitely that's in the epsom leather and i was so against it before i received this bag and when i received it i was like wow now i understand why everyone's going crazy for this leather it is so structured. You can see both these bags side by side. This one holds its shape so much better. And over time, this one would look nearly brand new. Whereas this one would look a little bit old, worn, you know, which a lot of people like. I also like that. Um, so I love so many things about this bag. The color is one of the first things that I love. This Mauve Sylvester color is this cool tone pink which I just adore. Um, I absolutely love the silver hardware as well. I think that just gives it this freshness, 
Yes, I still have my stickers on. I'm probably due to take them off shortly, but they don't even look like they're on oh, the one side's looking like it's peeling. I will take off this one for you guys. Yes. What do you think of that? Gorgeous. So I obviously took the other one off a while ago because um, I think it was peeling. So I took that one off and I still got this back one left to go. Um, but yeah, this bag is just so beautiful. It is such a great bag um, to take anywhere. Um, as long as you don't have to cross body, obviously. Can't go in the crook of the arm either. So if you like to do that, it's the Birkin 30 all the way, guys. Okay. Um, so yes, opening, etc. Really beautiful. And that, my friends, is my entire handbag collection. Oh my God, I can't believe you made it this far. I can't believe I made it this far without losing my voice. I've been filming this video all day and I hope that you guys loved it. I'm sorry if I raced through some of the bags. I basically had to show every single bag before the light went today. So I was on a bit of a time limit. Um, I really hoped you enjoyed this video. Remember that you can always go back to the individual review video of every single bag. I do a bag review for every bag that I get in. So you'll be able to search it on my channel or even on my website. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays and head over to my Instagram. I'm super prominent there. I do giveaways, polls and a hell of a lot more. So I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.